Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone, your journey, our passion. Dow Automotive Systems, improving durability and increasing design flexibility with Betamate structural adhesives at DowBetamate.com. And by Hyundai. Experience the 2011 Hyundai Sonata today at HyundaiSonata.com. This is AutoLine Daily for Monday, the 14th of November, and here's what's happening in the world of automobiles. Daihatsu just leaked three concept cars that will debut at the Tokyo Motor Show. The D-Cross is a compact sports car powered by a two-cylinder direct injection turbo engine. The Pico is a two-seater EV that the company says represents a new category of vehicle positioned between light automobiles and motorized bikes. And lastly, the FC Showcase is equipped with fuel cell technology developed by Daihatsu, which does not contain any rare metals. Speaking of auto shows, Mercedes unveiled the new ML63 AMG before it debuts later this week in Los Angeles. Powering the SUV is a 5.5 liter twin turbo V8, which has slightly more horsepower and torque than before. An available performance package can boost power even further, and the estimated combined fuel economy is 16 miles per gallon, which as bad as it sounds, is actually a 33% improvement. The Chevy Volt is under investigation. That's because a Volt that NHTSA used in a side impact crash test caught on fire three weeks after that test. The car's lithium ion battery pack was the source of the blaze. The safety organization says it does not believe electric vehicles are at a greater risk of fire than other vehicles, but it wants to know know why this one caught on fire. And in related news, Bloomberg reports that the Nissan Leaf is failing to catch on in Hong Kong, which is a trend-setting bellwether for the rest of China. The wealthy city-state is blanketed with smog, but drivers are unwilling to dump their high-powered Porsches and Maseratis to help clean up the air. Only 64 Leafs have been sold through the first nine months of the year. It looks like Hong Kongers are more concerned about luxury than in being green. And here's yet another black guy for electrics. Better Place, the company pioneering EVs with swappable batteries, is under fire from Israeli leasing companies. Seems that they're very uncertain about the future resale value of those cars. One insider estimates the modified Renaults that Better Place is using could lose up to 70% of their value in just four years. That's almost double what a regular gasoline-powered car would drop in the same time frame. And in a move to help jumpstart those sales, the Chinese government is dropping license plate and traffic restrictions on new energy vehicles in some major cities. That news alone sent BYD's shares soaring on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. And yet, despite all the interest in battery electric cars, several automakers like General Motors, Daimler, Honda, and Hyundai believe that fuel cell cars are a better way to go. Mike O'Brien, the Vice President of Product Planning at Hyundai Motor America, points out that a fuel cell car provides good performance, a 400-mile driving range, and can be refueled in just a matter of minutes. The only problem is a lack of a hydrogen fueling infrastructure, but he says we could already be well down that road if only the U.S. were investing as heavily in hydrogen as it is in electric charging stations. Hyundai says it will be ready to build 10,000 fuel cell cars a year starting in 2015, with prices significantly under 50 grand. We'll just have to find out how significant. When some people think of California, they think of vineyards, others performance cars. And we've got a new one to show you coming right up. Drivers who want to get the most out of their cars. It's Bridgestone or nothing. Wineries are a dime a dozen out here in California. In fact, in the Napa Valley alone, there are some three to four hundred of them. 
To stand out from the crowd, you've really got to do something different, like what they're doing here at Clos Pagas, which features a uniquely designed winery and some modern art sculptures. And that is what Volvo's trying to do with its new S60R design. This is about attracting that, you know, that pinnacle or apex type buyer that's interested in the Volvo. Uh, you know, go credential ourselves against cars like the 335M Sport, the Audi S line, um, and you guys will decide for yourself if we've done a good job with that. The car certainly has all the ingredients it needs to compete with the Germans. An aggressive and attractive body, a sporty, luxurious interior, plus a turbocharged engine. And that last one is what really counts. It's a three liter force fed straight six delivering a 325 horsepower stampede. Torque is an impressive 354 foot pounds. The company worked with Swedish tuner Polestar to boost the engine's output. The increases are modest, both horsepower and torque are up less than 10% over the stock T6, but the final figures are enough to make this the most powerful production Volvo ever. Best of all, the fuel economy is unchanged at 18 miles per gallon city, 26 on the highway. The engine works well with its only dance partner, a six-speed automatic transmission. Overall, this is a very likable combo with impressive mid-range power. According to Volvo, 0 to 60 should take just 5.5 seconds. But power alone is not enough to go wheel to wheel with its adversaries. It takes a complete package, which the R design delivers. It features subtly reworked body panels, metal accents on the mirrors, and a unique grille. Inside, it comes with upgraded seats, which are some of the most comfortable ever put in a car, aluminum trim, and blue colored gauges, all of which set it apart from the pack. Of course, the car's underpinnings were also upgraded for a sportier feel. Starting with the springs, uh, they're shorter by 15 mil, lowers the car. Um, also, they're stiffer by 15%. We utilize a, a monotube shock uh, in the rear, uh, which uh, has compression return damping via a single valve, so faster response than the standard twin tube uh, shock. Uh, larger sway bars up front, and uh, a strut brace uh, really combined to make this a, a, one, a real agile car. And it was an absolute hoot to hustle around the curving roads in the mountains surrounding Napa Valley. Of course, the S60R design is still a Volvo and that means it's a safe choice in more ways than one. Beyond crash performance, it comes with a special warranty program called Safe and Secure. This covers all scheduled factory maintenance plus wear and tear items for the duration of the five-year, 50,000-mile bumper-to-bumper guarantee. And it can all be yours for a starting price of just about $43,000, a substantial savings compared to its rivals. Thanks for that report, Craig. Hey, before we go, I invite you to join us Wednesday afternoon for a live webcast from the Los Angeles Auto Show. Not only will we take you on a walking tour of the show, We'll be talking with people like Mark Royce from General Motors, John Krafchick from Hyundai, Jim O'Sullivan from Mazda, Derek Cusack from Ford, Michael Bartsch from Porsche, and that is just to name a few. That's Wednesday at 3 p.m. Eastern Time at Autoline.tv. And that wraps up this show. Thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.